Hey, it's Luke Cube back here with another episode, and today we're going to be talking about a ton of things, so let's go and get started. So, our first thing we're going to be talking about is, are Flamingo and Jangji still friends? Well, there's a reason that the title has a question mark in it, of course. I'm not sure if they're still friends, because there has been a ton of evidence leading to them not being friends, like they haven't collabed in a while, but we'll talk about more like that later. But first, I want to go ahead and tell you who Jangji is. Well, basically, Flamingo used to have a channel called Albert Stuff, as most of you guys know, and inside of Albert Stuff, he did a whole bunch of collabs with with Jang Ji. And Jang Ji was like his, you know, friend from school and everything. They've been friends for like quite a while. So, inside of the Flamingo channel, they did some collabs, but they recently like stopped doing collabs. And that's kind of weird because, you know, they're like best friends and everything. And then they don't even follow each other on Twitter anymore. If you guys didn't know that, usually people, you know, follow each other on Twitter if they're friends. I follow a lot of my friends on Twitter, and Flamingo actually used to follow Jang Ji on Twitter, but he must have unfollowed him because Jang Ji's account is still, you know, open and not locked or anything. And he's not following Flamingo and Flamingo isn't following him. That's quite weird. And also, like how I said before, they did collabs on Roblox. Well, they aren't friends on Roblox anymore. If you check their friends list, they don't have each other added, which is quite weird considering how they're friends and they play Roblox together. And also, they haven't said anything about it at all. So that's kind of weird. Maybe they fell out or something. But to be honest, I don't know. So take this all with a grain of salt. But it has been confirmed that they are not Twitter followers and they are not friends on Roblox. And of course, the reason I first questioned this just because somebody asked me if they're still friends and you know i just wanted to make this video to you know ask if they're still friends in other news jang ji is apparently inside of jail but he must not be because you know he can still tweet and you don't have your phone inside of jail so he says i don't consider it jail time i consider it gifting housing and food living it up I'm about to shoot some hoops for the boys love summer whoever just called the prison out thinks that we're on lockdown i stuck my phone into the jails and yeah i'm pretty sure it's a joke to be honest but you know i just wanted to say that yeah he he is making jokes about him being in jail it's kind of funny but you know it could worry some people because you know he has quite a young fan base so you know it could worry some people so i wouldn't really joke about that kind of stuff but let's go ahead and move to the next topic so youtubers were getting strikes in their videos for having roblox.com inside of them the initial way i found out was from rainway he says at my username is this at kaiza 143 and at i'm a flying midget have all received a community guideline strike for having roblox link in their video you can most likely be appealed and removed but it's still very scary and he tags the person who owns star creators we hope roblox can reach out to the youtube to get this resolved because you know obviously roblox isn't a scam there's actually like scam channels that don't get this happen to them so i'm surprised that they got community guideline strikes otherwise known as if you get three strikes then your channel gets deleted so hopefully they don't get deleted but yeah here's what my username this said about it you know my username this says apparently roblox.com leads to scams and he shows like the following leaks on your channel has been flagged roblox.com that's so weird because Roblox isn't a scam site. And then Kaiza says, Roblox YouTubers be aware, at YouTube is flagging the Roblox official website as a scam and video link descriptions. This wasn't a fake email either, it was on my community dashboard. I have appealed as is I'm not sure if it's automatic flag or not. After appealing it was accepted within the hour but still be cautious and she shows that her community guideline status was decreased. So yeah, they are getting these resolved but for right now, it's kind of weird because why would Roblox be a scam site? And then I'm a fly and midget says, nobody's safe anymore. More. Roblox should definitely reach out to YouTube because YouTubers shouldn't just be getting strikes for scams when it's literally the Roblox website. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter. And there'll be a new gameplay video with funny moments inside of it. It's going to be pretty cool. And like I said before, the thing about Albert and Jang Ji, take that with a grain of salt because I'm not sure if they actually are not friends because, you know, I just, you know, made some observations. Anyways. Like I said before, like and subscribe, join my Discord down below, follow me on Twitter, and join my Roblox group because it's really amazing and I have cool merch on there. And goodbye.